We've talked about making your own custom shapes in Photoshop. We talked about using the custom shape library to make some designs using the custom shapes. We've also talked about making your own custom stars using the polygon tool, the polygon shape tool in Photoshop. Now let's go step by step through how to find other custom shapes on the internet, how to download them, and how to load them into your custom shape library. DeviantArt is a great place to go for custom shapes. It's a great place for artists and designers to learn and share from each other. And I just did a little search on DeviantArt for Art Nouveau custom shapes, which gives us a couple of different results. I'll use these Art Nouveau frames. And what you do now is check to see if you have permission to use these custom shapes, right? Um, so read through the author's description of when and where you can use these shapes. Make sure you aren't infringing on their copyright protection and then you can download that file. Now this is a RAR file. I don't have a RAR unzipper. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to download the custom shapes that are in the native file format. That way I will easily be able to access them and demonstrate how to load them into Photoshop. So these are coming in as a zip file. Now all I have to do is unzip that file. So I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to double click on that zip file. And as you can see, when it unzips, it's a .csh file. That's Photoshop's file format for custom shapes. So now to load those custom shapes into my custom shape library, I'm going to make sure I'm on the custom shape tool, make sure that little amoeba is selected there in the, the left column there. And I'm gonna click on the gear icon in my custom shape library, and I'm gonna click load shapes. Now as I browse through for my custom shapes. I can use the search option up there and I can just type in .csh so that all of my custom shape files will, will come up. Most of these have already been loaded into Photoshop though so I'm just going to browse to my one new one and then I'm going to click on open. Now I'll scroll down to the bottom of my custom shape library and now look, I have access to all of these really cool Art Nouveau style custom shapes that I can then use in my design. Watch this, I can just kind of click and now I have this really cool leaf pattern on my design, right? And then I can show you how easy it is to make some some new interesting shapes. I'll get my rounded rectangle tool and down here I'll put some sort of title. Maybe I'll go up to the top of the screen and change my stroke to something that's like maybe two or three or maybe five pixels. Just a little stroke. Maybe ten pixels might be better. There we go. How about something in between? Let's do five. And then I can, you know, put in some text there. Maybe this will be a wine label. And just with a little black text, elegant Art Nouveau style wine label, it's made using the custom shapes in Photoshop, nice vector shapes. And now that it's in black and white, we can colorize it in a variety of different ways using non-destructive editing techniques, such as gradient map. The gradient map adjustment layer 
is great for these sorts of things. And look at these different color schemes that you can get using the different gradient tools in Photoshop. I think I like that one the best. <laughs>